What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Game Mode 4. That's right, here on the Hermitcraft server. That's right, you know, Game Mode 4, where it's modded, but not really modded. It's vanilla modded, whatever that means. Um, anyway, last episode, we got ourselves, look at all them hearts, look at all them hearts. We got our heart canisters. Pretty sweet, and we also set up a beacon, which gives us haste, fast mining. Oh, I love it, I love it. Today, 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 I think I'd like to try out Soul Shards. You know, the Soul Shards mod. So first of all, to do this, we gotta get ourselves some XP bottled. Bottled XP. We should be able to just kill a couple mobs, and then I think throw a bottle at the XP, and it should bottle it. Let's try it out. Come here, mister, you're being a pain in my neck. All right, let's try it, let's try it. Can we throw the bottle? Go in it, go in the bottle. Um, let's throw out another bottle. See, can I just cue it? Oh, oh, it's coming, it's coming, go in the bottle. Go, get in the bottle. Ooh, any bottles? Many bottles. Oh, I don't know if we're supposed to use many bottles. Let's try it like that. Go in the bottle, go in the bottle. Oh man, the bottles keep connecting to each other. All right, let's try it with this XP and with just bo one bottle now. Let's see, it's cute. Come on, XP, come closer. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. I think you need a total of eight XP orbs in order to do it. Oh, come on, come on, XP, go. Get in the bottle. Get in the bottle. Oh my goodness. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I don't know if that's enough XP to do it. All right, we're gonna try it again somewhere else. How am I gonna do this? Hmm. Let's go over maybe to the cows. No, let's go to the piggies. Nobody liked the piggies. The poor piggies, they're so cute too. And random horse and donkey. Maybe I'll throw it in there and then just hit them. Come on, come on, XP. I think that's going into my. Oh, oh, I heard something. <gasps> yes, we got Bottle of Enchanting. You just gotta take my word for it. I couldn't see it either. But we did it. Okay, so that's the first step for the Soul Shards. We need the Bottle of Enchanting. So the spawn egg is like that. Like that. Two diamonds. And an egg in the middle. Yes! Empty spawn egg. Awesome. So we got ourselves a spawn egg. Let's now get ourselves some soul sands and let's take on another wither boss. All right, this time we'll try it here. Mm. Mm. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, let's back off ever so slightly. Let's get our bow in place. Let's get some SETI placey blocks. Bam, all right, let's eat, let's do regen. And I didn't even bother bringing any more potions this time. Let's go take them on. Ooh, you meanie. Oh, you fast bro, you fast bro. All right, let's just hit him with our sword. It's so much faster this way. All right, got withered. And another boss down, sweet. All right, so we got our star. Let's meet back up top. All right, guys, so we should have everything all set now. Let's go into the custom craft. Oh, what the, what the? Get out of here, skeleton. Let's take him out. Yeah, jerk. Okay, all set to go. So custom crafter, and we gotta put XP bottle there, we gotta put the book here, and then we put the star there. Oh baby, look at that, soul probes. So apparently this guy, I don't know if you can actually look in the book or read it, oh, oh, look at there. It keeps account of all the mobs that you kill. Isn't that cool? 
And then if you have the egg on you, you should be able to, once you hit a certain number, I think you just click on there on the mob that you want made. So let's try this out. Kill a few more piggies. All right, and if we look in the book, what does it say? Passive. Three pigs, one chicken. Oh, that's awesome. And look at all the things that we could make spawn eggs for. And of course the spawn eggs, that's you can convert a spawner eventually, but we can even do villagers, villagers, ocelots. Oh man, pigmen. That would be pretty cool. Blaze, endermites. And I'm thinking guardians would be extremely helpful as well. A witch spawner? Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. So, anywho, we need to get killing. Killing as much as possible. Now, I'm kind of curious. Wither skeletons are not reported on that list. There is a way. I, we don't. We actually have it disabled right now for lag reasons on the server. But there is a way that you can upgrade a spawner to a wither skeleton spawner. However, there is no like base soul shard for it. But that's getting me to think, are wither skeletons then maybe counted as normal skeletons instead of wither skeletons in this count, in this book? You know what I mean? So like if we killed wither skeletons, would that make the normal skeleton count go up? So it would be helpful to at least find out. So, 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 why don't we head over to the skeleton spawner and see what the dealio is. Alright, look at that. We got a crud ton of skeletons. Let's get them all crushed up. Now, I was just watching Exumavoid's video, and this, this whole rigmarole here, I didn't realize it, but it's meant to work with TNT. Sorry for the sound, it's almost done. It's meant to work with TNT. If you just set a TNT there, it will blow them up. All at once, which is awesome. Except for the fact that I don't have enough gunpowder to do TNT. In fact, I don't have any swords on me either. Give me a sword. Give me a sword. Right now, all the sorting systems are messed up. But on the plus side, we're able to get a bunch of swords. So cool. So let's just... Oh my god, that, that, that ladder always gets me every time. <laughs> Let's kill a couple of these guys. Oh, you saw the skull. I know you did. I did. All right. Now, in our book, what is that? Look at that. It's counting as normal skeletons. That's awesome. That is really awesome because that means we can grind out enough to get a skeleton spawner super quickly. And we'll be able to get tons of bows and all that sort of good thing. So... Oh, man. We are so close. We are so close. Let's look. Let's look. 99. Oh man, that should be 100. No, it still says 99. Is that the highest 99? All right, let's say now. 111, it was just a little bit lagged. That's awesome. So that means we should be able to make a soul egg of a skeleton now. So how do we then do this? Do I click on it? Create skeleton spawn egg. Bam. Awesome! So now we have a spawn egg of a skeleton. Now let's look in our book. Oh, dude, it still says 111. So does that mean we can make more? I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Is that number still going up? Let's find out. It may just take a moment to update. No, it's still going up. That's crazy. Oh, if we could just make on-demand skeleton or just whatever mob that we get up to. Oh, dude. Two? Dude, what is going on? That is bonkers. I feel like something's bugged here, but I'm not going to complain. In any case, um, I'd like to get some other mobs and we got to find a mob spawner. So, we'll be right back. Oh man, this is so crazy. There's something that's bugged out. Look at that, it just did it again. It keeps giving me spawn eggs for the skeletons. I don't know why, and it's not using up the numbers in the book. So something's messed up in that module, but it's in our favor. It could be worse. It could be taking away the eggs. Oh, that's cool. 
All right, guys. So we got to fix. We got to fix. Thanks to Ease and Sparks. Um, I got 50, 55 free skeleton eggs. Yeah, kind of cheaty, but they fixed it. There was something wrong with the, the clock that reset it. It's supposed to reset this number, I believe, too. But something's up with it. So that's getting fixed. But it should be all good. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's make another custom egg in the custom crafter. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Nice. Empty spawn egg. So we can take that with us. Now with these spawn eggs, there's a couple things we can do. I believe we can just right click it. Boom. And it's just like, you know, in creative mode, you can get skeletons or what have you. Stop trampling the crops, bro. That is so not cool. But otherwise, if we find a spawner, we can just right click the egg on a spawner and it'll turn it into, yeah, into a skeleton one since that's what we have, skeleton eggs. Anyway, I'm going to take these guys out for now. I'm probably going to trash them. I'm still a little paranoid though that it might get deleted or something. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And I think we should be on the hunt for some spawners. And I'd like to get into the Zuber Cauldrons, or however you pronounce that. Cauldrons mod. Ooh, there's Creeper. Dude, I gotta make a new sword. Because our sword, having the fire on it, if I hit a Creeper, it just gets knocked back and then blows up. <laughs> it's no good at all. I still haven't got my looting sword back. Still haven't cheated in the items. Even though everyone tells me, DMAC, it shouldn't be cheating. You earned it. I know. I just feel kind of weird about it. I don't know. It's just the way I am. Alright, please, baby, give us a good sword. Don't be no Bane garbage. Bane of the yucky, creepy crawlers. Ew. That's really not that good either. Dang it! Alright, I'm going to do some enchanting. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got the enchanting done, got a new sword, no more of that fire junk, and what else did I get? I got Depth Strider 3 on our boots, so pretty cool. Um, I have some obsidian on us, and I'd like to go run out, and I'd like to find where the ocean monument is. So let's get a flint and steel, and I got a bunch of obsidian, so it shouldn't be too far in the nether. I found there is an ocean monument, it's around negative 800 and then I think like six something. So we should be able to find it going through the nether as long as this, the nether stuff hasn't changed. All right, we're here. Hopefully all is well. Negative 100 and around 85. This should be an ocean monument right here. It better be or I'm gonna be very peeved. All right, portal. We all set, we all set. <laughs> I hope I don't just fall in the water and lose everything. Alright, we're in a cave. And we are pretty low down. So I would assume ocean would be right around here. Alright. Do we have any torches? Man, I used up almost all my torches. No good. Alright, I'm gonna dig out. Let's see what we can find. Let's see, is there anything this- Whoa! Right around here. I'm gonna make a hole all the way up and hopefully this should come out to ocean. Get some more coal while we're at it. Yes! And there we go. There's the ocean. So you know what? I'm gonna put this guy out. And I'll make another portal up at the surface. Oh no, I hope I can make it. Oh crap, those bubbles are losing quick. There it is! No, don't shoot me! No, 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 no! Okay, we gotta go to the surface. Holy crap, that's deep. That is so deep. Gotta get up, get that air. Oh my god! <laughs> well, we found it, that's cool at least. And you know what? Let's see if we can make a portal right here. Right in the tippy top. Oh man, those guardians. Alright, this is probably going to be much better. 
much easier. All right, so let's get this all guarded in so the guys cannot shoot us. And three, yep, that's good. All right? Yep, that should be another portal. Nice! Oh, you know what? I bet you this is in the wrong direction. I don't know how much that matters. Let's see if we link back up. Nice! And please, please bring me back. Yes! All right, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. So, let's make ourselves a chesty chest, and then I can start to grind out some guardians. Get the soul shard for that sucker. All right, got tons of placey blocks. Let's head down. I'm a little, oh, I can't even see these guys. Could really use some vision potions. Anyway, um, gotta get a bunch of these. Oh no, go away. How hard is it to kill him? Oh man, this is kind of hard. I don't think this is going to be very doable. Oh no! It's the knockback that's really bad. That and that I can't breathe. Holy crud nuggets. Get me out of here. Oh, that is not very good at all. Alright, well, let's get some sea lanterns while we're here. Go away, bro. Oh, that is going to be a bit tougher than I thought. All right, sea lantern. All right, good. You know what? That's everything that we need. Oh, go away. Stop it. I hate you. <laughs> Empty some of these placey stones out of here. No. I do not allow you to shoot me. No. You shoot me through the portal. <laughs> All right, let's get more of these placey blocks. Good lord, where are you aiming at me from? Way over there. He is just nailing through that armor. Let's hurry up and get this before it despawns. Prismarine. Shard and block, all right. Whoa, don't aim at me. Let's grab that. Oh, good lord. All right, get out of here. <laughs> All right, that's everything that really I need um, to get to the Zuber cauldrons. So I guess let's go back and see if we can upgrade to this. Crap, I need to get some blaze rods though. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's do it, another wither. Oh. Bam, bam, bam! Alright, run away, run away. Get out the bow. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Can't wait to show you what I can get. Guy. All right, let's drink a regen. It just takes too long doing with the bow, I tell you. All right, we get our star. Nice. All right, meet you up top. Oh, man, it's an Enderman. It's an Enderman. Got to get him. Holy crud, look at all those mobs. Come here. Come here. Oh, man, because it's raining and he ran away. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Stay, stay, stay. No pearl again. Oh, man, I am the unluckiest person. That's my third Enderman kill with no pearl. That sucks. All right. So, anyway, let's get into the Zuber. Z I can never pronounce it. It's like a German word. The guy that made the mod is German. It's like Z Zolbert. I don't know. I can't say it. I can't, but it is freaking an awesome mod. One of the most powerful mods in the pack. Let's go ahead. Let's do Custom Crafter. 
Let's do our little thing here. Let's see if I can do this all from memory and not have to look it up. All right, and then crafting table. That wasn't what I was talking about from memory, but in any case, okay, so here we go. Weighted pressure plate, brewing stand, iron, iron. Yes! Oh, that is so cool. Okay, then we gotta put water in it. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's see if we can do this right off the bat. Bro, get out of here. This is my cauldron. It's not your cauldron, it is mine. Go away. So from this cauldron, you can do all sorts of stuff, such as you can craft up like armor that gives like special effects, like speed, I think haste, all sorts of special potions. But what we are gonna do is take a sea lantern. Sea lantern, the nether star, and it said a book. So, of all the books that it said, the only one that we have is... Oh, where is it? Alright, I'm such a dingus, it was right here the whole time. So anyway, I believe just these three items thrown into the cauldron should do it. So let's try it out. So it is... Sea Lantern. And that was one, that was not Q. Sea Lantern. Project, uh, projectile protection and nether star and they all popped out Dang it. May have to build this up so it can't pop out All right, let's try again Wham 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 do your stuff Do your magic do it grab both these things if you take if you have 40 levels and you throw a prismarine shard boom enchanted prismarine shard all right let's see if this works maybe now wham 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 please work see i think that stuff's caught on the side hopefully it worked now please work Please don't make me crazy. Go, go. Go! Yes! Look what we got! Crystal of speed! So now, we have, wherever we go, speed effect. Everywhere. It's crazy nutballs. Oh, is that, is that auto haste? No, I swear there's speed. Let me see, maybe I gotta hover over it. All right, let's give it a moment. Give me crazy speed, crystal speed. Is it, hey, let's remove our beacon in case this is, it's really driving me nuts with this beacon effect. Stop working, beacon. All right, so what's this doing? I have haste. Haste go away. Health boost. All right, well, this is supposed to give me crazy nut ball speed. Maybe I'll throw it down again, pick it back up. Supposed to work that way. And it's supposed to give beacon effect. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should relog. All right, so I removed the beacon. I did all sorts of stuff. It's not giving me the dang speed. It's supposed to. I actually did this in creative earlier today, testing, and it did work. So I don't know what's up, but I'm gonna assume there's something wrong with the command blocks. But we have it. Nonetheless, we have it. Now, the next thing I wanna try is you can make armor with special enchantments. So to do the speed, it's, I believe, with a rabbit's foot, which we have. We got in the first episode, and then with this enchanted shard, which required the 40 levels to get to. So why don't we try this? Golden helmet, enchanted shard, rabbit foot. Golden helmet. Go! <laughs> what happens is on these cauldrons, it get, the stuff gets stuck, like, on the side. It's really kind of frustrating. 
Oh, wait, wait. Was it already enchanted? Did it already get it? No, where'd my stuff go? I saw it glowing. I saw it glowing. I know we have it. Crap nuggets. Where'd the helmet go? Ah. Give him the problems today. All right, let's make another helmet. Let's try it again. And you can do it for any piece of armor. Did it work? Glowy helmet? No. Hurry up. No. No. Give me the glowy helmet. Hmm. Yes. Glowy helmet with speed plus 18. Oh. All right, I'm definitely feeling faster speed now. It definitely, it, it feels faster. Yeah, feel that. All right, that's with the two things. Yeah, that definitely feels faster. And let's do it without the two things. So you can compare. Wham, and yeah, you see that? As soon as we took it off, I think you can even just have, yeah, and then it put me into like sprint mode. I think you can even just go like that. Look at that. I don't even have to wear it without it, with it. With it, without it. So this is without it, with it. Yeah, it feels faster. I wish it was even faster than this, but that's still pretty cool. That's decently fast. So we should be able to get other things as well. There's a crystal that you can carry around that gives you regen, which is freaking bonkers. These, by the way, also give unbreaking nine, I believe that is. So it's not bad. It's a lot of cool stuff. It's a lot of cool stuff. I'll see what's going on with this. I swore there's supposed to be some type of po like beacon effect for it. I don't think I'm afraid to set it down because I don't want to lose it. It was kind of expensive. But I think that's good. I'm happy with that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. We trying, we trying. Game mode four. It's craziness. Vanilla Minecraft. Holy cow. Whoa, look at that little zombo. Come here, zombo. You're certainly fast. I wish I had whatever you're on. Give me your helmet. So anyway, we're doing good. We found the ocean monument. I want to try and grind out for a spawner. We never got to try out the, the egg. We'll do that next episode. But yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. Hope you're happy too. If you're happy, leave them thumbs up. Help support the series. It's a lot of work, guys. Believe it or not, it's a lot of work. So help show your support by leaving them thumbs up. Help me out with any other tips or tricks. You guys have been super helpful. That whole uh, cocoa bean thing into lapis. Oh, I love it. I love it. So good. So good. Keep it up. Till next time. Thanks for watching. And peace out.